I don't know who this message is for. Maybe it's just meant for me. But sometimes, like every single one of us, we go through bouts of depression, right? It's taking me <laughs> at least a few days before I actually took a shower and decided, okay, I'm going to feel better. I'm going to do something about this, right? Oh, <sighs> I'd say for the last six months, I have been battling a situation and I'm going to be honest with my friends here today and I'm going to tell you what I've been battling with okay I've been battling darts that have been going in my head I have been battling doubt and unbelief not in belief in God I know that I know that I know that he is real I have felt him, I have experienced him, and I have experienced his goodness. But I have been struggling with unbelief of the power, his power, and the magnitude of his power. And I have been struggling with my salvation. And whether or not I have the Holy Spirit. And whether I am born again of flesh and spirit. Water and spirit. I have been battling all these doubts of my salvation. Of if I have the Holy Spirit. If I've been, you know, born or what's that, baptized in the Holy Spirit. You know, I see all these TikToks sometimes. They're like, oh, you have to be baptized in the Holy Spirit to be washed in it. And I'm like, have I really experienced that? Like, I just start doubting everything. And instead of walking, walking in it and knowing that I'm saved, I am battling and doubting every single thing. And I lack discernment so much. I ask for it and I ask him, Father, give me wisdom. Give me discernment. And I just, I feel so beaten down. And there's things going on personally that just are gut wrenching. They're gut wrenching. And it's weighed me down. It's broken me. I am broken. But the fact that even at my lowest, I have never actually given up. That I see his hand there outstretched to me. No matter what, how I feel, my doubt, my unbelief. He calls me his. <laughs> so I say all of that to tell you that I jumped in the shower and I put praise and worship music on. Which we don't have a lot of CDs because most nowadays is on your phone and stuff. But we have an old radio and I just put it on 88.1, which is our local Christian uh, radio station way of film. A song that I have heard over and over and over again, which now it feel like this year alone I can resonate with, is For King and Country's God Only Knows. God only knows what you've been through. God only knows what they say about you. God only knows the real you. And I was just taken aback and I just started crying because... It's like God sitting here like, okay, I know that you're struggling and I know that you have a hard time being still and knowing <laughs> that I am God, so I'm going to reach you through a song. And it wasn't just that song. It was the firm foundation to Christ is my firm foundation, the rock on which I stand when everything around me is shaken. I've never been more glad. He won't fail. And I'm just like, okay, Lord, wow. And I heard him say, just embrace that. 
just embrace that. And then another song came on because, you know, I'm sitting here going, okay, am I doing enough? Like the rapture could be any minute. Am I going to be, wow, am I going to be left behind? What, what am I, what, what else do I need to do? Like, you know, I'm like that, that person that came to Jesus and said, you know, Hey, I keep all the 10 commandments. What else can I do? And he says, you know, you're not far from the kingdom of God, but sell your possessions and you'll have, you know, eternal life. And I'm sitting here like, okay, what else can I do? What else can I do? And then the, the best news ever song by Mercy Me came on. It says, what if I were the one to tell you that the fight's already been won. That the work's already been done. And I'm sitting here like, and I just start crying, you know, because that that's, that's how he works. That's how he works. And then another song comes on. And this is after I'm out of the shower and I'm brushing my hair, you know, getting all the tangles out. And it's a new one I haven't heard before by, I think it said Rend Collective, um, Hallelujah Anyway. And I'm like, yeah, I will praise you regardless of what my current mental state and feelings are. I will praise you. Hallelujah. Anyway. Oh, and I need to mention to you. The last few weeks with all the struggling I've just been telling you about questioning everything and what must be done and am I doing enough and am I really saved and and it's okay to to be have like that self check you know we all need to you know point the finger at ourselves and not just at others. No, it starts with us. We you know you self evaluate yourself. It's a heart check. I get it, but man, I go beyond that and I start thinking, man, I'm not even saved. And then I start going in like, Lord, please forgive me for my sins. Enter my life. Help me. And he's probably sitting there like, child, child. You know, I just, I get crazy. I go like one extreme to the other. It's, it's, there's no middle. There's no in between. But I have to tell you the last few weeks and it's nothing of my own. I know it. I know it. Thank you, Lord. All these things come to my mind, the surface and the depression and all these things. Am I saved? Am I doing enough? Do I, do I have the Holy Spirit? All these things. And I keep hearing the words, Martha, you are worried about many things. Hmm. And then I'm like, okay, Lord. I know I didn't think of that just my, on my own. I, there's no way. So you're telling me to be still. Be still and know that you are God. The work's already been done. The work's already been done. The fight has already been won. Okay. Okay. So I don't know who this is for. Maybe, like I said, maybe it's just for me. Maybe it's just for me. But I just wanted to be real with my brothers and sisters in Christ and let you know that if you are struggling with this, you are not alone. I am worried about many things, and only one thing is required. Jesus. 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 He's the only thing that's required. God bless. <laughs>